tete a tete with the classroom. The day my school reopened after the corona break seems ironic. The reality is that we have been on and off locked in our homes for the past one and a half years. 18th September this year turned to be a day I'll never forget in my life. The students may opt to or not to attend the classes and I, your friend, was the only one who opted for in person. I entered the school similarly the way I had joined the pre-nursery, completely lost and confused. However, the school corridors and the classroom were there in my mind as distant memory this time. I entered the empty classroom and waited for my teacher. Welcome, my darling, a voice that came from behind, utterly interrupting my thoughts. In curiosity, I turned to figure out but could not see anyone. Suddenly, I realized the amber light from my classroom walls. Was it a dream? A hallucination? No, 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 it was my classroom talking to me. Not even in my dreams had I thought that something like this would happen. I tried to be expected and answered, I am good, how are you? Oh, what a question to be asked was the reply. You know, I was the one who suffered the most. This reply left me surprised. My friend continued, you all were locked at your home with your family. You could also interact online with your friends and teachers. But I have to know the pain of loneliness. The pandemic was like a blessing in disguise for humans, but not for us. Family time is what you have cherished for decades with all running the rat race. And this was a time when you could speak your heart to your parents and they shared their experiences and feelings with you. I had never thought of an imposed break like this. It was so harsh. My friend continued and pleaded, Hey buddy, please don't stop coming now. This caught tears to my eyes. Suddenly, the silence between us was broken by the sweet voice of my teacher and I kept staring at the one whose presence we had never realized of and who was cherishing each blessed day of a childhood. Haven't we humans all this while ignoring so many things around us? However, now is the time for gratitude. To be gratitious to those who matter, those who love, and those who care unseen, selflessly and unnoticed.